Hey everyone, it's so good to see you all again. My name is Everest Cliff, and I'm here at the Altitude Base Camp and Climbing Shop. I'm just finished cleaning up the store while Roxy puts away some boxes in the back of the room. I hope you guys have been enjoying Altitude so far. Last week we learned about how distractions in our life can make us miss seeing the amazing things that God does. Cam and Grigri were so distracted by birds and berries that they missed an amazing rainbow waterfall. That's why we need to read our Bible and pray to help us keep our focus on God. Another thing we can do is worship God. Why don't we all sing a song and do that right now? Dice, then it looks pretty clean in here. Yeah, what now? We're doing a pretty good job, um, but I'm gonna head off and meet a friend for lunch. While I'm gone, can you uh, just put away the cleaning supplies and make sure to keep an eye on the radio, okay? Yes, ma'am. Awesome, I'll trust you. Yeah, have fun. Oh, oh shoot, the radio. This is Hitch at base camp, ready to help, over. Hello Hitch, 
Cam and I are having a disagreement that we need your help with. Yeah, right. We're up here on peak six, and I want to keep climbing so that we can finish soon. But I sprained my ankle a while ago, and it still hurts. I want to stop and rest for an hour before we start climbing again. And I think you're being lazy. And I think you're being bossy. Anyway, what should we do, Hitch? Over. Hmm. Interesting. Disagreement between two climbers. Well, it sounds like you both feel very strongly about your opinions. The way we handled disagreements when I was younger was arguing. You need to argue back and forth until one of you is right. So go ahead and argue. Over. You want us to argue? An argument I'm going to win? My ankle hurts. So we're staying right here. I'm right, you're wrong. End of argument. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How come I have to stay here and sit around when you're the one with the hurt ankle? My ankles are just fine. So get up. We're going to finish this climbing right now. I'm right. You're wrong. End of argument. Not so fast. It's your fault I hurt my ankle. We're staying right here. My fault? Well, my fault? Yes. No, you're the one that doesn't know how to climb. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -uh. Hey, don't push me. Oh, my ankle. Whining, let's go! Hmm, interesting. Well, I'll leave those two behind to hash this out. Let's see, where's my book? Hey, Roxy. Oh, hey, Abby. How was your lunch? It was great. How were things here? Did you get anything on the radio? Yeah, Cam and Gregory called in. They had a disagreement. But don't worry, I handled it. How did you handle it? Well, I told them to argue back and forth. The only and best way to deal with a disagreement. Uh, what? I told them to argue about it. But that's not going to fix anything. <laughs> oh, really? Then let's check on them. I bet they're both happy and calm as a cucumber now that everything has been settled by arguing. Okay. This is Hitch at base camp calling in Cam and Grigri. Come in, Cam and Grigri. Over. I'm right. Just admit it so the argument will be over. Never, because I'm Stop whining! Well, quit pushing! Oh. Uh, that's worse than I thought. This is why arguing is a bad idea, Roxy. <clears throat> Cam and Gregory, this is Everest Cliff at base camp. You both need to stop fighting right now and listen to me. I repeat, stop fighting. No pushing, no shoving, just stop. Over. No, we're going! No, we're staying! We're going! Staying! We're going! <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. We stop fighting for now. And we're listening for now. Over. Good. Well, now I need the two of you to calmly tell me what started this. What is it that the two of you are disagreeing over? Over. I'll tell you what the problem is. I want to finish climbing this mountain. I am ready to go, and I want to climb. And my ankle still hurts, and I want to stop and rest for an hour before we start climbing again. And I'm the one who's right. Over. Hey, give me that! Oh! Huh. Stop. You've both made good points, but arguing and fighting isn't going to solve this problem. You need to calmly talk about this, try to see from the other person's point of view, and then come up with a solution that both of you are happy with. Try to be in the middle and compromise. Over. Calmly talk about it. Try to see it from the other person's point of view. I guess I could see how climbing up this mountain wouldn't be very much fun if you had a hurt ankle. So, I'm sorry for pushing you. Will you forgive me? Yes, I will. And, and I can see how it isn't very much fun when your climbing partner doesn't want to climb and you want to keep climbing. And I'm sorry I shoved you. Will you forgive me? Of course. Hey, we should probably rest here for a little while, but I was thinking, do we have to rest for the whole hour? Maybe half an hour? That way I could rest my ankle, but we could get back to climbing sooner. Yeah, I could live with that plan. Yeah. Okay, so we'll rest here for half an hour, half an hour. and then we'll keep climbing. Yeah. Good plan. Thanks. All right. Oh, may I? Uh, sure. And thank you, Base Camp, for helping us sort this out. Over and out. What just happened? How did you get them to do that? How did, were you able to get them to find a solution without arguing? Well, that was me being a peacemaker. If people around us have disagreements, we should try to help them find peaceful solutions. When people argue, it doesn't usually solve anything. Most of the time, the arguments just get worse and worse, and people's feelings end up getting hurt. 
Even Jesus encouraged us to be peacemakers in the Bible. But how did he do that? That's a great question. First, you try to find out what the problem or disagreement is. Then, you get everyone to talk calmly and try to see each other's points of view. Finally, you encourage people to work towards a solution and find a compromise. You should also try praying. Asking God to help us find the words can be really helpful. Wow. <laughs> I'll definitely try to do that next time I see I'm arguing or I see someone else who's arguing. Thanks, Evie. You know what? This reminds me of one of the Beatitudes from the Bible. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And you know what that beatitude reminds me of? Our beatitude rap. Absolutely. Should we do it? Oh, yeah, let's do it. We, we should, should let the attitudes be our attitude. The kingdom of God belongs to you and you and you. Well, thanks again, Evie. Yeah, you're welcome. Why does it smell like lemon cleaner around here? <gasps> what did you do? What? Why did you spill that?